Vinci Gamer back and we're back to Better Raise Vegemites episode 4. Vegemites, the end of episode 3 genuinely gave me chills. I didn't expect this to hit so hard emotionally, but finding out Miria's uh, epithet, that really knocked me for 6, guys. Thank you so much for obviously not mentioning it in the chat on previous episodes and everything, guys, because when, when that happened, I was like, wow, that's... That was heartbreaking, and so, again, I, stopped, I, I, I shouldn't say heartbreaking because it sounds like I'm making a pun, but it was very emotional is what I'm saying, and so, episode four, I'm a little bit worried, guys, because Molly has said that she's really not bothered about her epithet, and so, at this point, it would be, it would make sense for her to just give it to, to, to Mira, but then again, will S Sylvie still have his epithets? Because he was getting wrecked by Mira at the end of the last episode, so... Very, very exciting. I can't wait to see what's, uh, where this is going, guys. But thoroughly enjoying this series. Like I said last time, guys, unfortunately, this series does get claimed automatically by the people that made the animation. And so that, that's fine, guys. You take the rough with the smooth of YouTube. But if you are new to the channel, if you like this series, why not go check out some other stuff that I do as well that I just might help, like, you know, like the monetization and all that sort of stuff. It doesn't matter though, guys. If you don't want to, it's absolutely fine. I'm just saying that because I can't monetize this, maybe check out my other stuff. You might like it. You may not. Either way, it's there if you're interested. One thing that I've been doing throughout this series is try to learn the lyrics to the theme tune, which is sung at such pace, it's difficult, guys. I think I'm almost there, though. We've got three more episodes to, to get it done. Presumably. And it looks like we're starting right off with the th with the theme tune, which gives me a bit of a chance because when it like just dumps it in suddenly, I I can't I can't sing along to it. So here we go. I need to not look at the screen because the subtitles throw me off. Let's enjoy episode four of Epithet Arrays. I'm guessing it's the usual theme tune. Wake up, you got a lot to do today. Feel proud and wipe your eyes, cause hey, stifle the yarn, stayed up till dawn. Let's see what we've been working on. It's got to be in mind, the deadline is coming in. Your byline, the headlines in the bin, uncompleted or deleted. You're allowed to cut the goods, but I'm going to die. Do you have the orders out of the days? I dot the eyes. I was singing too fast. I need to turn the volume up. I need to turn the volume up and I'm going to have a much better chance of doing it. Damn! Three more chances. Honey, your mother and I are going out, okay? Okay. Stay in bed this time. You're not well. Oh, God. You'll be healthy enough to play outside with the other kids soon, dear. Okay. I did notice that she's a Goodbye, child sweetie. on the intro. In some shots of the intro. <sighs> Within this. Episode four. Reflection. I won't. Hmm? I won't go. But why ever not? Lady Mera is waiting. Because I don't wanna. Giovanni, boss, stood up for me. He Aww. got hurt for me. And he says I should stand up for myself. I don't want to have my epithet taken away. But you must. Lady Mara needs it. I'm sorry, but I need it too. Good, I'm Molly glad, Millie. Molly. towards the exit, but she finds her path blocked. By a barrier. I'm sorry, miss. But as a fellow bodyguard, you must understand. Oh, and this is getting scary. I must scary. do as Lady Mara commands. And she commands that I capture you! Ah, no, no, no! Um, she runs her hand along the sand in the desert. Dumb ain't gonna work against Indus, he's already ball. dumb. As Indus reaches out to grab her, she sprays it up into his eyes. Ah, sand! Sand in my eyes! The third worst place for sand to be! No, Miss Bob! <laughs> let's not question that. I don't want to know. The nose and the mouth, let's say. The power of yours is actually pretty impressive. I think I'll take it. You're no museum worker. You're just another thief. Aw, what was your first clue? Your move, genius. I, quite literally, am a genius. Which means I'm smart enough to know that I shouldn't hold back. Let's see what you're most afraid of. Nightmare fuel! Oh, this will be interesting. W what? Why didn't it... What I'm most afraid of? 
You want to know what I'm most afraid of? I'm afraid of this. I'm afraid of a world where I spend the rest of my life like this. Brittle and creaking and constantly on the verge of breaking. I'm afraid of a life where someone bumping up against me on the street needs a trip to the hospital. Oh god. I'm afraid that this is all there is. But now I finally have an exit. I finally have a way to leave. You think you can keep me here? So cool. then you better be ready to die trying. Also ducks, apparently. They're small and fast and they bite, okay? Uh, ducks are adorable! Just die or something. My brother's scared Lily of birds, actually, so. And skips up the stegosaurus skeleton, climbing her way to the top of the wall. She takes a hesitant step onto the barrier prison and walks it like a tightrope. Hey, hey well done. what are you doing? That's dangerous. Don't worry, I'm going to get you out of here. Boss needs our help. Boss? Wait a second, what are you talking about? Miss? Miss? There's no time. Please, just trust me. Ah, there you are. Don't move. I am coming to apprehend you. <laughs> oh, no. I've been caught. I sure hope this barrier underneath me doesn't disappear. Oh. Then I'd have nowhere to run. <laughs> well you done, Molly. right. Secret technique. Unbarrier. <laughs> Give me what a secret. I got you. Thanks. Boss is in the next room over. This big guy beat him up. He's trying to catch me, and I need your help to get away from him. Okay. We'll do our best. We're the Bonsai Blasters. Nobody messes with us. Prepare to meet your doom. It's <laughs> actually a female one. I didn't notice before. Well, they tried their bargain bin best. But they oh. got me a few seconds, and that's all I needed. Molly dips under the rope and begins crawling up the tail of the Apatosaurus. Hey, get off of there! One does not ride a mighty dinosaur without its permission! Barrier! Molly roots around in her backpack and pulls out the gun Giovanni gave her. Oh, God. She looks at it for a second, and then chucks it at the base of the bones. Oh, hey, my goodness. do not throw guns! I'm a bad guy now! I can do what I want! Yeah. The dinosaur wibbles and wobbles! Its bones creak ominously as the beast begins to collapse! You should reposition your barriers if you want to save the dinosaur! Uh, uh, no, I do! I do want to save the dinosaur! <laughs> like I say, Dumb would be ineffective against this guy. <sighs> Thank goodness. Molly shimmies her way up the neck and hops into a nearby air vent on the ceiling. I love the narration hey, hey, no, 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 of this guy. No, no, no. It's so cleverly done. No. <laughs> okay, he shouldn't be able to follow me up here. <sighs> what are those lights up ahead? Yeah. Scoot. 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 Oh, police right, lights? Let's group up into teams of three and sweep the building. We don't know what's going on, how many perps there are, or whether they're armed. Whoa. Is this her sister? A policeman. I didn't think so many would show up. That's good. I shouldn't have to worry about Mr. Indus anymore. Hooah! Is that man carrying a dinosaur? <laughs> Little bodyguard! Where did you go? Oh! Hello, police! 9618, we have a 9618 in progress. Subject is <laughs> possession of a sauropod. Bronto, possibly a patasaurus. Requesting backup immediately. Ha! Well, this is awkward. That should be a good enough distraction. I need to get back to the others before the police find them. Scoot, scoot. Okay, so I'm guessing it's not a sister. Epithet erased. <laughs> Commercials are like a barrier on your TV! Has he actually been arrested? The cops do not care. Epithet erased. Yeah, we're back. Where is Giovanni though? I didn't realize there's a female one before, guys. Oh See, God! Your body is too frail for your own epithet. You can't keep this up. How does it's the amulet work? It's more then. Counting sheep, defend me! All I have to do is survive until your own power knocks you out. That's awesome. You think you can outlast me? You'd better watch your step. Oh, so cool. She's fast. She grabs Silk's chest and clasps her fingers. His ribs turn 
brittle and his breath chokes. Ah! You feel that? How your bones feel like drywall on the verge of caving in? Ah! That's how I feel all the time. Most people who train their epithet figure out new powers and ways to get around their weaknesses. <laughs> Not me. The more I train, the stronger my epithet grows, the weaker I get. Man. The only new trick I found is the ability to suck stamina out of other people. All I can do Don't. is steal from others. So when I heard about this amulet, I figured why not lean into it? Let me show you. Oh god. No! I will let you yeah, take this! Yeah! Oh! Dr. Beefton! Oh no! Did you seriously pass out from the shock? What a weenie. Half of my bones are broken right now, and you don't hear me complaining <laughs> much. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's new. <laughs> Should have watched last episode. Ow. Oh, great. <laughs> that's still happening. Beefton stomps the ground. He levels his horns and prepares to charge. Someone seems needs to stop great. this fight. Let's see you get through those. I wasn't serious. She digs her hand into the ground, and a wall of crystalline spikes shoot out from the rubble beneath. Beefton will enjoy examining your cadaver. Bam! 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 Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> she and, with a moment of hesitation, digs it into the wall behind her, breaking at least two of her fingers. A fissure snakes up from the impact, creeping up. up oh, up she's wrecking the building. Crack, crack. Someone crack. needs to stop this it fight. Crosses until a chunk of the roof has been completely encircled. <laughs> something, something. Bull in a china shop. That's a pretty bad one-liner, but no one's around to hear it. That so was. It doesn't matter. <laughs> that was horrendous. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Should have said something cool after all. This is perfect. Come here. Ah! Mara's hand reaches to grab hold of Molly's epithet. The amulet glows in no! unsettling green as her nails move to close yeah, around buddy. Molly's neck. But something holds her back. Don't. Oh. Touch her. Oh, Fine. Sylvie. If you can't wait your turn, I'll take your epithet first. Ah! Ah! The amulet glimmers. And an orange aura surrounds the boy. It dances for a moment, fleeting, and then rushes along Mara's outstretched arm into the gem. Wow, no! Amulet. <laughs> oh, I can feel it. All your strength, all your powers, they're mine. Thank you for your contribution to the museum's collection. Oh, no! What did he call that ability again? Oh, right. Nightmare fuel. Oh, go. Oh, Fire, wasn't it? Much better. I can get used to this. Now it's your turn, little girl. Wait! Andus got captured by the cops! Don't you need to go and help him? He... Uh, uh, that idiot. Well, it's his own stupid fault. He can get out of it himself. But... Oh, I thought she him? wasn't going to care huh? at all. Well, I'm, I mean, he's free labor, but... You sound like my dad. It's nice to have someone looking out for you. You shouldn't take it for granted. I don't take life advice from a toddler. And don't bother looking for a way out. There's no escape. She reaches for Molly. And has told me about your epithet. If it really hurts so much, then why? Why don't you just have somebody use the necklace to steal it away? You could get rid of it. And what? Lose what little I've gained from all my effort the past 10 years? This training? It's not a bad idea, to be fair. This is all I have. Why should I have to throw away all my hard work? You shouldn't. <laughs> it's not fair. I know it's not. The world never is. But that doesn't mean you should make other people hurt instead. If you act a little nicer, you get a little nice back. Usually. Mm. Be quiet. If you say so. So what if other people oh, get hurt, huh? Full of I've been truth hurting here. my whole life. I just wanted to stop for ten 
minutes. Is that so wrong? And now it's here. The answer is right here. I just have to reach out and grab it. A new life. It's so close. I can almost hear it. Oh, wow, look at the Wait. animation. No, I can't. I can't hear anything. Why can't I hear anything? Yeah! <laughs> that was sweet! Did you see the animation change? <sighs> now that's what I call a bear trap. Right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Giovanni well, that was adorable. Mera's unconscious body leans down and takes the arsen amulet from her. Let's get the Sylvie's ability back in him, yeah? That was amazing, boss! Yeah! Super cool! <laughs> well, you know, all in a day's work. Plus, I gained a ton of proficiency from winning that battle. And all that smoke gave me an idea for a new move. Check it out. Hoo-wah! Giovanni spreads his arms and the area around him is blanketed in a fog as thick as pea soup. Oh my bad, goodness. Huh? So, what do you think of the fog of lost souls? It smells delicious, boss! I love you! I love you more! Also, it heals you if you stand in it, just like real souls. Uh, what happened? You totally doctor beefed it and got your epithet stolen like a nerd! Get back to him. Luckily for you, the bonsai blaster saved the day! Can I please have my epithet back? Only if you beg! Never, Cretan! Oh, well, that's a shame. I guess your epithet belongs to the Bonsai Blasters now! <laughs> no! I want it! I want it! I want it! I want it! Give it back! Boss, come on. What's that bear trap? I can't hear it when you mumble like that. If you want something, speak up. Boss, give it back to him. Please. Okay, fine. But only because Bear Trap asked so nicely. Gotta give her some positive reinforcement after all. You're lucky I'm such a good mentor. Molly walks over and presses the amulet to Sylvie. The orange. Oh, thank sensitive. God. I was worried there thank for a you. second. You're welcome. Well, I guess all's well that ends well. Still got no free episodes, guys. Freeze, criminals! We're the cops! All right, police. Well, well, well. The notorious bonsai blasters. We should have known you were behind this. That's right, coppers. We're not scared of you or your little pea shooters. This museum's treasures are ours for the taking. We shall see. The woman steps forward and unsheathes a real ass goddamn sword. And oh God. Points it at them. Whoa. Is that a real ass sword? Holy crap. We don't mess around with no real ass goddamn swords. That's out of our pay grade. Mm -mm, we're You're not. getting paid? Indeed. That's what your friends said before we captured them. <laughs> oh! By oh, God, they're all right. Guys. We haven't seen them since and episode are one. Are these yous also part of your criminal cavalcade? She gestures towards Sylvie and Molly. Okay, so they're not sisters. I thought because of the, um, As the freckles. If, the bonsai blasters would never hire some snot-nosed little kids. These two are our hostages, so you'd better not shoot. Giovanni's a real stand-up guy. In front of him. Oh no! I am an unwilling hostage! I hope I am not an hit unwilling hostage. by a gun or a real-ass goddamn sword! Hey, Gads! She swore. <laughs> being corrupted by bad guy proximity. No! <laughs> Stand down. No! <laughs> that was That's hilarious. That's right. You wouldn't want to hit one of those hostages through the fog by mistake. Through the fog? What fog? The fog of lost souls! <laughs> <laughs> what? Where did they go? <laughs> so long, suckers. We'll meet again soon. Oh, fantastic. All's well and ends uh, well. All's well and ends well. Split up and search for them. We can't let them get away. I'll look after these citizens. Who's got the amulet? And who in the world is Bear Trap? Epithet erased. One of his two best friends named Trixie and Foronic. Yeah. For Veronica? I'm terrible at reading, so sorry, guys. Epithet erased. 
I'm so glad he got his effect back, guys. That was actually really worrying me. It, this seems like the end of the story, guys. We've still got three episodes left. Still, still got two other characters to meet. Who's that nurse? Jeez, hello. Oh, you yeah. Okay, oh, she's gone. Not to worry. He sustained some minor injuries, but I think he'll pull She through. looks like her dad. It's a good thing he managed to get his epithet back, though. Molly's dad. A dangerous artifact like that amulet simply cannot be left in the hands of criminals. And I'm afraid this is going to be the start of a lot of work for the police force. I wish I got a chance to examine it up close. <coughs> Call the number on that card when you get a room at the hospital, okay? I'll send over some get well toys from the store. Oh. Uh, thanks. Oh, I was going to say I'm, I'm not a kid. Um, did you mean it when you said you would be my friend? Oh, God, sure. guys. If you want me to be. Uh, yeah. How sweet is this? See you. We still got three more episodes. Something bad's about to happen. Hey, what's the eyes? Well, we've wrapped up most everything here. But yes. I'm afraid we still can't seem to get a hold of your father. <sighs> yeah, that tracks. Ow! Careful with those handcuffs, all right? I apologize for getting us captured, Lady Mera. I will do my best to scoot, so you may have as much room as possible. Shut up, Indus. Mera sighs and squeaks in behind him. She this. grimaces as her broken bones press against Indus's girth. She's used to it. Yeah. Molly walks over before they shut the door. Ah, uh, careful, citizen. Just because they're wearing eraser cuffs doesn't mean they aren't dangerous. It'll be okay. What What's this character's name again? I'm sorry I couldn't give you my epithet. Really, I am. I just... I needed to deal with stuff at home for a while. Wow. But I can at least do this much for you. She gently takes Mira's hands in her own and closes her eyes. There's a moment of serene quiet. For the first time in a long while, Mira doesn't feel... Anything. No discomfort. No pain. Just quiet. <sighs> I hope this can't be the end of Mira and Indus. At least. Hm. If you ever want me to help with that in the future, just ask. You know, once you get out of jail. She doesn't say anything. Indus kind of elbows her. Thank you. Oh, that was sweet. Can I get a ride home? <laughs> Belinda? Toy Emporium? Thank you very much for driving me. You're quite welcome. I know things didn't go quite as expected today, but I hope you got the chance to learn something on your field trip. <laughs> yeah, I think I did. Oh, bless. Molly reaches for her keys. Let's just end it there. The door is already unlocked. Oh god. She turns and waves to the police lady. Good night. Hmm. What an adorable young sprog. Someone did tell me her name, I can't remember who it is. Molly flips the close sign to open and starts her shift. At eleven PM. At night. Yeah, it was such a strange time you know for a what? shop to No. Flip. I'm going to bed. Yes! Excellent. I'm delighted. Why was the door unlocked? This must be a new... Who the hell is that? Hey. Hey. Me, boss. How did it go? Did you get the amulet? Lol. Nope. Oh. What happened? Did you get caught? Nah, but I've not got it. You're not gonna believe it. Okay, there are like 11 million other users. 11 million? Goodness. Who's sending what? Hey, some Banzai blasters grabbed it. Oh, that's bad. Did you happen to catch their names? Yep, Giovanni. That, that was the leader. I'll send a pic. <laughs> I don't know who this character is at all. <laughs> I suppose I have the manhunt on, on our hands, which means this is. A job for you, for Zora. Ah, oh man. Oh, I mean, that character's not on the intro. That's for damn sure. I've literally no idea who that was. So this story is over, guys. This is so strange. I, 
I was finding it quite odd that, I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed the first three episodes, but when you think about the overarching story, not much happened in those three episodes, but this really wrapped up that entire storyline. Oh, these lines change per episode. Well, there you go, guys. So glad that Sylv got his uh, epithet, uh, epithet back. But we still have two other characters on the intro to meet. I'm guessing I'm, I'm going to predict that Zora is the snipe, is the uh, is the cowboy girl. But this character, I have no idea. The thing is, I was having to because I'm dyslexic, guys. I have trouble reading, so I was actually talking over if she was actually saying anything. It looks like she's got some, like, like electronic epithet, which is certainly not a character that we saw in the intro. So this is interesting. Yeah. I'm guessing this is Zora. And then we've still got this character to meet as well. I love the cop lady. She's really, really cool. I mean, everyone's great in this guy. This is the fantastic thing is that each character is equally just awesome, apart from Giovanni, who's obviously the best. But I really like how this episode really, it, it basically ended the storyline. It had a heartfelt moment. Everyone's going their separate ways. And Molly's standing up for herself for once, which is fantastic news. And then we meet this mysterious, amazing looking Pokemon-like character. Who appears to have a top hat, which I obviously approve of. But there we go, guys. Three more episodes to go. I don't know what to say because this this feels like the end. And that bit where the animation changed was freaking glorious. Right here. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, it's the thirteen as well. That remind. Who does that? I can't hear anything. It's a character from Guilty Gear. I think it's I think it's uh, Faust who has like a who has like a, a a thing where like they they bat people into the distance. I think. Okay, I could be wrong, but either way, guys, this was an adorable episode. I freaking love this, guys. So we've got three more episodes to go. Like I say, it's going to be a new storyline, really. Giovanni does have the amulet, which is kind of strange because he wasn't after the amulet in the first place. But obviously, he knows how powerful it is. I can't imagine that he's going to be using it for evil. So he's not a... He is. He's, he's not evil, guys. But he's, he's, a, he's a criminal, let's put it that way. But evil is not really the word which I'd use for him. So where this storyline goes now, I don't know. Let's have a look at the quick raw bit. Trap. That's awesome. <laughs> what a fantastic episode, guys. This was absolutely brilliant. And we have three more episodes to go. Let me know in the comments who your favourite character is, but we still we still got new characters to meet. Three episodes to go, guys, and they're introducing a whole new story arc. This is bizarre. Who's Boss? I guess Boss could be the guy in the Hawaiian shirt, I guess. But that would mean that Zora and him are on the same team. Everything. Well, don't let, don't tell me that anyway, because I'd like to know learn myself. Learn myself. But this is fantastic, though, guys. What a great series this is. Seriously. I hope that they do more. I hope that they do do more. Because this, this ended last year, I believe. Um, and, yeah. Getting into it now. I, I'm i thoroughly invested in all the characters. It's absolutely awesome. Please like and subscribe. All the good stuff. I'm Gamer, And I'll see you next time.